Well, uh, here's something I never thought I would get a chance to say. Um, and it's thank you for 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, I, I've made, I've made thank you videos before about certain things, about putting things into perspective, like the grand scheme, the, the, the stuff that I've ever made, the videos I make, the movies I make, anything like that is just so low on the, like, important scale of everything that it always started off as a hobby. <laughs> it always, it, it started off as this very small thing that you have an idea and you want to make stuff. Like I, I started making videos on YouTube back in 2007 um, very early Capcom versus SNK2 stuff, and now, almost, almost 10 years later, we're at half a million subscribers, and I've made between 60 to 70 movies, like, between Assist Me and live-action skits and so much stuff. Um, it's insane. And first off, I would like to thank you for watching, and thank you for being here for all this, because... The opportunities that have been presented to myself are life-changing because of YouTube, because of what everything here started with. Um, and pretty much, you'd think things like a guy that just grew up loving fighting games, things like Killer Instinct, and things like Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, that I would eventually get the opportunity to actually work on those things, to be involved in an official capacity somehow is uh it's still it still blows my mind to this day um so i just wanted to say thank you very much for that it's it's honestly because of you and i as much as you might say it's because you know i worked hard on a lot of this stuff it's mostly because you guys gave a shit enough to watch the stuff i did which made people at capcom and even microsoft or other companies be like hey we can trust this guy. He'll do a good job. Um, that is, it's pretty important to me. Uh, and it's, it's crazy even today. And I, I really don't want it to like craft my opinion because I love these things so much. And even when <laughs> I love the Capcom guys to death and they're really nice of me, but I am still critical of them, which could affect, you know, how things happen in the future with my employment. Um, that, that means a lot because I like talking about this stuff as much as it might seem like I'm griping about MVC or things that are happening with Street Fighter. Um, I genuinely want them to do good. And it's the same thing with Killer Instinct. Might have noticed this as soon as I started working on KI in, a, in, a, in an official capacity. There's been a lot less Killer Instinct videos, especially news coverage, mostly because I didn't want to make it think like my working on the game um, was being paid off in some way, like on this channel. Because I'd like you guys to hopefully uh, think my opinion means something. And um, considering how many people are subscribed, it does. It's it's crazy to think we're the biggest fighting game channel on YouTube. The biggest fighting game video hub of all of the internet. And at 500,000 strong, I think that's impressive because these things are niche. Like, fighting games are a special thing in my opinion. And there's something unique that comes as a result of playing fighting games. And how you learn from each other and pick up on little things and it helps you out like in life. Like you start applying like footsies to, to real life type of situations and it's really interesting. Um, which is why I love fighting games so much. Not to mention the art, the music, everything else. I like fighting games as games and um, it's one of the bigger reasons and it's one of the things that made me realize over a long time is how much I appreciate them as video games and not exactly the direct competitive medium. I might not cover them all <clears throat> because I am still pretty biased in the things that I like. Anime stuff isn't just going to make me flip out unless it's Guilty Gear. Uh, King of Fighters has never been too much my forte. But I've been willing to give things a shot uh, nowadays, and that's mostly because of you guys. Uh, a lot of people have told me to try to get into things like Injustice, and lo and behold, I, I loved Injustice. The game was a ton of fun, and in the long run... Mortal Kombat X literally is dream come true city with the alien and the predator being in it. It's um, it's crazy. Uh, it's crazy where we're at right now. I think fighting games are in an amazing place. Uh, and there's so much more on the horizon with KOF 14 and Tekken 7. And there's it's it's crazy to think what is not even known. Uh, and I can't wait to talk about it. Like I can't wait to talk about this. There's a freaking Final Fantasy 7 game coming out. Like that's amazing. Either way, I didn't want to ramble too much. Uh, all I wanted to say is I appreciate your time. 
I appreciate the time that you spent with me, and I appreciate you giving me the ability to to make anything, to to make the movies we've made, to pretty much live out what is still a dream. Um, every single day, I get the opportunity to make a YouTube video or stream in front of an audience of thousands. I I I can't believe how lucky I am. Um, I will never ever take that for granted. I will never take the generosity you've given me with your time, with your money, your subscriptions. I, I only, I only hope that every day I can live up to that. And that's, that's a big goal. I don't want to get sappy on you guys. Um, sorry about that. So I had a story, uh, at Evo last year, I didn't get a chance to tell this story too much because I, um, I just think I think it wasn't appropriate. Uh, Evo last year was pretty unique. I was I was running around uh, trying to get seats for the finale of Evo, the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 finals, the Ultra Street Fighter 4 finals. It was the last year of Evo, Ultra Street Fighter 4, and I wanted to get down there. The place was absolutely packed. Um, we had our panel the previous day. I did commentary for KI the previous day, and I was hanging out with a lot of people and giving away stuff, and I, we just couldn't find seats. It was ridiculous. So... We decided to go back to the room and just hang out in the room and just watch finals there with a bunch of people. And it would be a lot of fun. Believe it or not, that moment was the first time in like eight or nine years that I've been going to Evo that I didn't have a spot in the Evo finals room because I usually would spend eight hours or so just watching all the finals in there. And uh, that didn't happen that year. So the craziest thing happened. I was out taking Benny for a walk. And as we got back up, the Canon Award is being presented to uh, the next person. And right as that happened, I, 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 it like something hit me. I was like, man, I don't even know what I would do. Uh, I don't even know what I would do if I received that. Like, that'd be crazy. Like, I don't, and I don't think I deserve it. And then they announced the winner of the Canon Award. For you guys that don't know, the Canons are the guys that like made Evo, um, along with Joey and many others. They, Pretty much made it. They made GGPO. They're extremely nice guys, and they are super grassroots fighting game tournament scene dudes. And um, it's always been. I've been competing at Evo since two thousand seven, and I went, went in two thousand six as well, but I didn't compete. I uh, it was always a dream. You watch these guys from Japan walk up to the stage every single year. You watch these guys go up, and they. They have their music, they have their something, and you just think in your head, oh my god, I'm going to walk up there to the touch. There's something ridiculous from the Transformers movie. And as you watch all this stuff happening, all that just flies by me as the Canon Award at that moment was presented to James Chen and Ultra David, who absolutely deserved it. I remember telling everyone in there, those guys fucking deserve it, because James Chen has been making FAQs on Street Fighter for like 20 years. And I still remember back in junior high looking up his game fact for Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter so I can learn how to do Wolverine combos. Um, that's how long these people have been like an influence. And the amount of time that I've been around and doing this is, is, a, is a drop in the water, in my opinion. Um, it's it's been It's been like six, seven years, but at the same time, it hasn't been that long. Um, it was only it was only so long that I started to do something about it. So I watched these guys, and I was like, they totally deserve it. They these guys absolutely deserve it. Uh, and then right after that, as I'm in my room and I'm about to put Benny down, they say they have one more, and I walk away, and they said my name, and I actually don't remember what happened in that moment. Like it was, it was jaw dropping like I, I i almost went it was like it wasn't real um because i didn't think i deserved it uh i didn't think anything i did was specific enough to to target people to go to tournaments enough like if if anything i i just the entire goal is just to get people to play fighting games um because it's a genre that is not universally accepted as being easy or rewarding because of how much time you have to put into them and uh when they said my name, I, I honestly sat there for about 10 seconds in complete disbelief while someone literally shook me and said, you have to go down there. 
And I, I remember feeling like the biggest piece of shit because it was the one Evo. It was the one moment I decided not to be down there in that specific situation. I remember feeling like the worst person in the world as I literally started running down there with my dog. Um, when I got down there uh, and I started walking up to the stage, the they were trying to get everyone out of like the hallway because they couldn't even start the finals. I thought I was actually holding up Evo, which was like, I am the biggest piece of shit right now for not being there. It was it was rough. But when I got up there and I found out that they actually had not um, been delayed because of me, they were delayed because of fire reasons, like fire hazard reasons. People were in the hallway. Uh, I that that feeling of of going up to the stage was, was crazy. It, it was that moment that I've always thought of, like taking the Evo stage. And every single year, you you tell yourself when you're at like a giant fighting game community competitive event, something like Evo, which is the world championship of fighting games. And you see all these people go up there and there's all this glory and, and all this like admiration and respect for these players that I've been following for what feels like my entire life. Um, and being one of them to be called up there is... Uh, Whew, uh, it was crazy. It was, um, damn, it was something that I never expected I'd ever get the chance to do. And I honestly think it's because of you guys that I was actually able to go up there and accept this award. So, whew, damn, uh, this was not meant to be like this. I received the Canon Award, uh, for fighting game community contributions. And I, uh, I have to thank you for that. Because it's really because of you guys. Anyway. I don't want this to be a sappy video. I'm... There's, there's problems right now. And it's with my face. And it's doing things. But... Thank you. Uh, that's what it's pretty much going to come down to. Is a giant thank you. To you guys. For everything you've done for me. Every single day. I get to make a video. Or live stream. It's, uh, it's magic to me. Because growing up in the arcades. And being around people that were much better than you. Being around uh, literal gangsters, like kind of crazy dudes with knives and guys that drank and me being a 14 to 15 year old kid trying to learn how to play Marvel and uh, just be good at games enough for people to watch. Like that was always the thing. I loved arcades because I wanted someone to watch me be really good at a game. I wanted them to see me like, look how sick I can be. I can do this really cool stuff. I can, And I want people to see that. And... Uh, through, throughout that time, I've talked about this a lot before, I, I gained respect from those guys because of how much I played the game. And you lose a lot at the start, and I had to learn how to use an arcade stick when I was like 13 years old around a lot of people that weren't like this little white kid. And um, I became known as somebody in, in that little scene, and then it all goes away. But the crazy thing is that it's what I always wanted. <laughs> I just wanted someone to like watch me play video games and share the stuff that I like so much. I don't want this to go on too much further. All I want to say is thank you all a ton for everything you've given me over the past um, six or seven years. It means a lot. I'll be back with more fighting game footage as soon as possible. There might not be a lot of stuff right now and stuff that's happened with MKX and Street Fighter might be really disappointing to you guys and it might seem like things are in a bad state, but they will get better. And if they don't get better, we can just play Third Strike. Thank you guys very much. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.